take a look at the setup for this problem. So to start, to prepare, I'm going to sketch a picture of the situation. So we have a wire, and it's carrying a large current, okay? And I'm just going to assume that the current is coming out of the paper, okay? So we've got a certain current coming out of the paper. And because of that, there's going to be a magnetic field. Now, let's see. My right-hand rule, the current's coming this way. Magnetic field lines loop around the wire like so. And so there's going to be a magnetic field that makes circles like so. And I'm gonna apologize for the fact that my circles aren't drawn so well. And we're told at a particular point, one centimeter from the wire, the field has a certain value. Now the investigator wants to move the sample five centimeters from the wire. Okay, so the investigator wants to put this five centimeters away. So the distance increases by a factor of five. That's what we're looking for here. Okay, the distance r is going to increase by a factor of five. And that's, and then we're asked, by what factor must you increase the current in order to keep the field the same? And with that setup, we're ready to solve. So the solution looks like this. Let's recall the relationship for the magnetic field near a current carrying wire. It's this. It's equal to mu zero times i over two pi times r. So you can see the magnetic field is proportional to the current and it's proportional to one over the distance. So if we've increased the current by a factor of five, I'm sorry, if we've increased the distance by a factor of five, we need to increase the current by a factor of five in order to keep everything in balance. Because we increase the denominator by a factor of five, we also increase the numerator by a factor of five. These factors will cancel, and so everything will be back where it was. So the result is, if she moves the sample five times as far away, she needs to increase the current by a factor of five. And that's our answer. To assess this, we'll just note that this is reasonable. It's proportional to the current. It's inversely proportional to the distance. And so if I increase the distance, I've got to increase the current in order to keep everything the same. And so the answer matches with how we know the world works.